Welcome to Lubera, the Swiss fruit the peri plant producers and breeders. My name is Markus Kobold, I'm founder and breeder of Lubera and today I want to talk to you about the apple breeding process. After having selected the genotype, so after having selected out of thousands of seedlings like in this row, the ones who are interesting from the fruit quality and from other things we are interested in, resistance, habit of tree and things like that, we are multiplicating again. Out of one tree, we are producing 20, 30, 40. And we are planting this number, this genotype, on three places or in two places. And then we are planting them like this. You see there one variety, a dark one. And here you see another one, almost picked. And here you see the third one. And this type of planting we have on two or three sides. And then it's again the same. Patience going through, eating apples, writing something down. So if we have a number like this, who is interesting? So we are going through, eating apples over a longer time to have the right uh, ripening time. And also during breeding, people are phoning, that's possible, but normally I'm not taking the phone like now. So, because otherwise, I wouldn't be able really to breed varieties. So uh, you are eating and then you are writing down some information. So are the trees still resistant? Are we seeing some scab or not? Are we seeing some mildew or not? And the quality of the fruit, the ripening time of the fruit, uh, concerning the fruit, the texture, the overall impression, the aroma, the sweetness, the acid acidity, all the things we're writing down to have more information, also the crop capacity of a tree, if they have some biannual cropping or not. All these things we are writing down to have an impression over the years and after four, five, six, seven years we have to decide if this number here becomes a variety or not. If not, there are still two possibilities. One is we are throwing away this uh, number and the other is we are using it still as a parent because sometimes we have a variety it's not good and interesting enough to be a variety but it has still some interesting assets for example the color or the sweetness or the resistance or whatever that you want to use it for further breeding to become an even better variety in the next or over next generation so this is about testing again testing in some plots with 10, 20, 30 trees on two or three places and uh, to have some, some information to decide if something becomes a variety or not. The next video will be about the decision, really the decision, if something becomes a variety or not. That you will see in the next variety, uh, in the next video. So if you have questions about this stage of apple breeding, ask the questions below in the video and go on gardening.